Hello everyone, I'm Jillian, and today I want to talk about Legend of Zelda. Um, like everyone else, I've been replaying Breath of the Wild. The Tears of the Kingdom is coming out in May, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and it is mid-March right now. So, so far so good, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> like it could get delayed. I wouldn't doubt it. Anyway, I want to talk about my wish list for the sequel. Do I think any of this will actually come to fruition? Probably not, but they're just my my guilty pleasure wishes. Uh, Nintendo is too much of a coward to do probably any of this. First thing on my wish list is to be able to switch back and forth between Link and Zelda possibly even have a two-player option. I don't know. I just feel like that would be really cute, really sweet. It could add a new dynamic. Probably won't happen. Uh, second thing, I really, really want them to kiss. Freaking don't suggest it. Actually show them locking freaking lips. Do not leave anything to guess. It would probably leave millions of people upset, but it would make me happy. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know. I just feel like, particularly after two games, that they would deserve it. Something else that's really high on my wish list is the reinduction of, like, the Twill or the Twilight people. Specifically Minna. I doubt that it'll happen, but it, it'd be nice. I think a lot of fans would be happy with that. Uh, even if it's just like an Amiimo extra type of deal. Um, but if she actually showed up in game, that'd be cool. Uh, Ingo, I think is his name from Mishkit Cap. It's like the actual hat. It looks like a green duck. Like, I want that to come back. Even if it's just as a little Easter egg that you find extra or something. I want, like, the little mini people. I forget what they're actually called. But they hide, like, rubies in the grass and stuff. Uh, again, do I think that they'll be a major part no but I'd like like a little easter egg somewhere um something else that I think would be nice is to if you have breath of the wild and if you have a game save it takes some of those items and transfer them to your uh tears of the kingdom game so it would actually reward the hundred percenters or at least encourage you to have played the first one first like for example that stupid little hat that you get after getting all the Kirok seeds it'd be hilarious if it did something super cool in the sequel but the only way you could have gotten it is if you got all the Karak seeds in the first game. And like it transfer over. And maybe. I don't know. Insta kill on guardians. Or something with it. Just throwing something out there. Uh, like. I don't know. I just feel like that would be kind of cool. I really doubt. That they'll do that. Uh, very few games do that kind of thing. Uh, something that I do think is possible with the Master Sword being corrupted or somewhat destroyed, I think they'll be rebuilding it. So expect to collect four things and then get Forge in Mount Doom or whatever and get it fixed because they've done that in a few of the games. Anyway, let me know what your wish list is. Do you agree with my wish list? Uh, how improbable do you think any of it is? Uh, we, we'll see in May. 
Anyway, I hope you have a good one. Bye.